Hello, hope you're doing good. Anyway I was thinking again, like some people do, and I had an idea. This idea has to do with the picture I came up with that I used in this video. Now I am not sure how Ian and Yang tie into this idea I had, but it had some influence on it. But anyway, I have looked into how the brain functions and also motor function as it pertains to the brain as I myself have been diagnosed with multiple disorders. Including schizoaffective, bipolar as well as, just recently, autism. So moving on, I found out that the left hemisphere of the brain is the center for positive emotion whereas the right side is responsible for negative emotions. Also the left hemisphere controls the right side of the body and the right hemisphere the left. This is also true for each eye as well, which if you haven't noticed, I represented in the drawing. I think this is where I overlap the concept of yin and yang as I also generally understand the relative opposites of yin and yang. So I applied the idea of yin's negative, chaotic and feminine aspects and applied yin to the right hemisphere based on negative emotions associated with the right hemisphere, as well as applying yang to the left hemisphere for the correlating positive attributes. This is still an abstract idea which I have not explored in detail, but I can't help but notice the similarities between this depiction and the idea of yin and yang, especially considering which hemisphere controls which eye. I also am wondering about how one experiences both hemispheres simultaneously as one experience, which has me wondering as to the concept of the third eye. However this is all just speculation and although I have not explored these seemingly overlapping concepts, I would be very interested in any theories, explanations, or feedback anyone might have regarding this idea. Okay well that's about it. Later.